Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. Welcome to today's episode of How You're Getting Effed. I'm your host, Lewis Rossman. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing a company that made an AR headset. This is a, a You're Getting Effed you may have forgotten about because they announced it a while back that they'd be effing you in the new year. But I'm here to remind you, just in case you forgot that you were getting effed, that you're getting effed so that you know to not buy products from this company ever again or products that are similar to this product from a company that sells something like it ever again. We're going to be talking about the Magic Leap headset. This is a $2,300 headset that they have politely told all of their customers to get fucked on. It says over here, as of December 31st, 2024, the Magic Leap One is no longer supported. Magic Leap One will no longer receive OS updates or care support. And you may think, okay, whatever. I'm not going to get an operating system update. I'm stuck on the old version. No, that's the old definition of ownership. The old definition of ownership meant that you could not use Windows 10 on your Pentium 2. The new definition of ownership is you don't even get to use Windows 95 on your Pentium 2 because your computer, which is what everything we use is, has to connect to the internet in order to work, to get permission from the manufacturer because getting permission when you bought it is not enough. This has to connect to their server. So the Magic Leap One core functionality, including the device and apps have reached end of life. Also, the cloud services are no longer available. Now, why are these cloud services so very important? If you take a look over here, this is this is an interesting one from Twitter. Uh, Steve Lucas, this is my understanding. Every six months, the Magic Leap One is a hard-coded security check to cloud query for authentication. If this doesn't pass, the device cannot be used. If the cloud server shuts down, there is nothing to authenticate against, and the device essentially bricks out. This cost over $2,000. $2,000. Now, I know that this announcement was made quite a while ago, so you may wonder why am I pouring salt on the wound in the new year only a few days after it stopped being supported? So you remember that you got fucked in the hopes that you won't get fucked again. The Who had a good song about this. It was just a little bit more G-rated. I know somebody out there is going to say, oh, you know, this is from 2018. It's old. You're not going to keep your augmented reality headset for six years, are you? That's not the point. It's not the point. Why should they be able to take it away from you? Somebody out there is going to say, well, they can't afford to run those servers forever. You, you only paid once. You expect too much. You're entitled. But you're the one who made the conscious choice to require that this device connect to your server to run. When I buy a cloud security camera, I don't feel entitled to utilize the manufacturer's service forever. What I'd like to do is I'd like the ability to specify that it can use mine. So that if you turn off your computer, my computer still works. I think that's, that's a good way to phrase it. Don't kill my computer because you turned yours off. Somebody in the comments has to be able to make some sort of, some sort of better catchy slogan based on that. Just because you turned your computer off doesn't mean you have the right to kill mine. That has to become a thing. I'm going to fix that slogan. I'm going to make it better and I'm going to put it on a t-shirt, maybe a mouse pad, maybe include Mr. Clinton. He hasn't been jumping up here as often as he used to. I have to get him some stairs because he has a, apparently he has a degenerative uh, bone disease that's messing with his spine. So he's not uh, as active as he used to be, unfortunately. But I'm going to do my best to get some stairs and everything so you guys can see him up here again. He used to like jump in on my chair and he used to sit right next to me. And he hasn't really done that a lot over the past year, year and a half. And it's a big part of it is because he can't do it anymore. But anyway, see you in the next video. Bye now. Hey everybody, how's it going? To my left is Mr. Clinton the cat. Say hi, Clinton. Good boy. So today's video is going to be on this Dell Luna concept that a lot of you have been...